All right, today we're talking about something very exciting. You guys know I'm always very excited about systems of equations because they're so exciting. And today we're going to talk about how to solve systems of equations by addition or subtraction. We're going to eliminate things by either adding or subtracting something. And so we have a problem like x plus 2y equals 13 and x plus 3y equals 17. All right, we have two variables, so you can't just solve it like you would like we did in the earlier chapters, what, what we're going to have to do here is create a subtraction problem from two equations. You can put two equations next to each other like this, where the x is the y's and the other variable, the c, is lined up in standard form like this, and you could put a line under it and subtract. Now, the first part of the equation, we're subtracting x minus x, and if you're confused, you always got to remember, if you're confused, always put the, the variable in front of the x. There's one x. Um, if there's no variable in front of the x, that means it's 1x. So basically what we're doing is 1x minus 1x equals 0x, or you can just think of it as 1 minus 1 equals 0. So we have 1 minus 1 equals 0. And then um, the next one we have 2y minus 3y, and so it's a positive 2y plus positive 3y, and we're subtracting, we're doing 2 minus 3. And when you, when you do that, you're basically doing 2 minus 3, and you get a negative 1y because you have two positives and three negatives. When you subtract a negative and a positive, um, the, the bigger number, if the, if the negative's bigger, then it's a negative number. So it's negative one y. And finally, we have the last part. We have 13 minus 17. Um, the, 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 the negative is bigger, and so the answer comes out negative four. And when you look at the whole answer that we get, we have zero y, I mean zero x minus one y equals negative four. All right, so so we've got it down to this point, and it's zero anything times zero is zero. So zero x is going to equal zero. So we can get rid of that because it's just going to be zero no matter what we do. And now we have uh, one negative one y equals um, positive four. Let's get rid of everything else. And we have so now we have negative y negative 1y equals negative 4, and so we divide both sides by negative 1, and when you divide negative 4 by negative 1, a negative divided by a negative is a positive, and our answer is 4. All right, let's look at another problem. This time we have 2x plus 6y equals 20, and 2x minus 3y equals 25. Again, we put a, the minus sign in there, and we have 2x minus 2x, and that equals 0x. We have a positive 6y, and we have a minus a negative 3y. Remember, whenever we, do a, whenever we subtract a negative, both of them become positive. Remember, like I said, let me show you that again. Whenever you subtract a negative, it, both things become positive, and we get 9y. And then the last part of the equation is 20 minus 25. The negative is bigger, so it's negative 5. And the final answer is 0x plus 9y equals negative 5. Again, anything times 0 is 0, so we can get rid of the x's. That's no longer part of our problem. And we have negative, we, I mean, sorry, we have positive 9y equals negative 5. That's what's left, right? So because we've eliminated everything else. And we divide both sides by 9, and y equals negative 5 ninths. And that is the way that you solve things when you have it. To, when you have a number like when you have x's like that that can just be eliminated, that's how you solve those kinds of problems. And x equals negative, I mean y equals negative five nines. Um, pause the video. Try and solve this on your own. All right. I hope you actually paused the video and tried to solve it on your own. If not, you know what the first thing you have to do is add in that subtraction sign, and you get the the two minus six, the the negative six bigger, so you get negative four x. Five y minus five y is zero y, and forty minus twenty is twenty. This, but this time the 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 zero is the y, so we can just take the y right out of there, right? So we have negative four x equals twenty because we eliminated the y, and we divide both sides by negative 4, and x equals negative 5. Now, there are times when the x's and the y's won't be that easy to eliminate, and we're going to talk about that in another video, about either using substitution or multiplying uh, the, the uh, systems of equations to get them so you can eliminate numbers. But that, in a nutshell, is how to do elimination of, of systems of equations using addition and subtraction.